This is the solution to written homework 15. It is an initial value problem. And to make it a little more interesting, it requires a substitution. <clears throat> so to recover P of X, we know that P of X must be the antiderivative of its derivative. So the antiderivative of negative 250 x in the numerator divided by 16 plus x squared to 3 halves in the denominator. So to proceed, <clears throat> we'll need to substitute u is 16 plus x squared. So then du is 2x dx. So du by 2 is x dx. <clears throat> Making that substitution, this is now antiderivative, negative 250 x dx is replaced by du over 2. This is now u to 3 halves. So du over 2. <clears throat> Simplifying a little bit. So that's negative 2. Let's see. Negative 125. antiderivative u to 3 halves to negative 3 halves. Now we can use the power rule. So negative 125 u to negative 3 halves plus 1 is negative 1 half. And then divide by negative 1 half plus a constant. <coughs> so these negatives cancel. Division by half is same as multiplication by 2. So that would be 250. And then this is u to negative 1 half plus a constant. So fractional exponent half is equivalent to square root and since it's negative it needs to be in the denominator so this would be 250 over square root of 16 plus x squared plus a constant so that's the unit price function up to the unknown constant now, to figure out the unknown constant, we'll need to use this extra piece of information. The extra piece of information is saying that when we plug in 3, we should get 83. So it is known that P of 3 is 83. So let's plug that in. 250 divided by square root of 16 plus 3 squared is 9 plus C is 83. <clears throat> so 250 over square root 25 plus C is 83. The square root of 25 is 5. 250 divided by 5 is 50. So 50 plus C is 83. So C is 33.
therefore the unit price function is P of X is 250 divide by square root 16 plus X squared plus 33.